Now we know the, the manners of Khutbatul Jumu'ah nowadays. Make sure your cell phone is on. Make sure it's full volume. Make sure you have a 50 cent ringtone. Right? Make sure to have, I don't know who calls you right during Salat, but make sure you find some friend who will call you right at that time. Okay? So we, we have certain adab of the khutbah nowadays that we have to follow. Alhamdulillah. Okay? So uh, and we're pretty good at that, mashallah. And of course, there are the people who have so much taqwa that when they're standing in salat and praying and their phone goes off and it's an Indian song or whatever, <laughs> they have so much taqwa that they cannot reach their hand in their pocket and turn it off. We have to listen to the entire thing. <laughs> you know? And it's especially entertaining during Dhuhr and Asr, silent prayers, we get to enjoy it with full khushu'ah. <laughs> right? <laughs> Awesome, this is the best, you know. So, we know the manners of the khutbah, or at least we're supposed to. We're supposed to know. And make sure you, you're the last one to get there. Make sure. Make sure you get there in a time, maybe catch like the second ruku'ah. So you can fulfill the accounting principle, L-I, LIFO, you know, last in, first out. You know. Also, make, you sh make sure you park your car in a way that nobody else can get out. <laughs> this, this. These are from the manners of the khutbah that you must follow. And all of you are, mashallah, familiar. We're, we're, we're good Muslims, so we know these things. Okay. So anyway, 